Welcome back to the course, everybody. Today we are going to continue with the second part of chapter 3 where we discuss design codes, codes of ethics, the standard of care, and standards of safety. So let's get started. So what are design codes? Any engineering curriculum around the globe revolves around design codes. That is mainly due to the fact that these codes were developed by governing engineering bodies to help keep the field of engineering up to date and safe. Some of these codes include the ASCE building design code, the ASTM standards, the PCA concrete code, and many more. These codes are based on years of research and experience, and they are regularly updated based on new data and technology. The main focus of the codes is to ensure the safety of the public first, then ensure that you are not using too many resources. For all those reasons, it is highly essential that you grow familiar with the design codes that are relevant to your field. Therefore, you should take the time to find them and study them carefully. As there are design codes, professional engineering bodies address the need for developing codes of ethics. One famous code is the NSPE code. The NSPE code has six fundamental canons as shown in the slide. Each canon highlights how an engineer should be in their profession. The first canon focuses on the safety of the general public and highlights that engineers must always handle it as a priority. The second canon urges engineers to work only in their field of competence and not impose on fields they do not understand. The third canon insists that engineers must always be truthful and objective. The fourth canon encourages good work ethics in the forms of loyalty and faithfulness. The fifth canon prohibits engineers from engaging in deceitful acts. The sixth and final canon encourages multiple virtues in an engineer's conduct. Like the National Society of Professional Engineers, engineering organizations have developed their own codes of ethics. Here we have the ASCE code, for example. The ASCE Code of Ethics shares its first six fundamental canons with the NSPE Code, but has added two new canons as well. The seventh canon encourages engineers to keep improving their skills and to gain knowledge throughout their careers. The eighth canon encourages engineers to treat every person they encounter with decency and respect. So by now, do you have an idea about the standard of care and what does it represent? The standard of care comes in place when the codes and standards are not enough. That is when engineers are expected to go above and beyond the codes and standards to ensure the safety of the public. So how do we assess the standard of care? Well, here is one example. In a court of law, one way to assess the standard of care is to have a group of an engineer's peers assess what would have they done if they were in the shoes of the engineer that is under trial. If they would have done the same thing, then the engineer has not violated the standard of care and the opposite is true as well. One tool to always be on the safe side is to use the standards of safety effectively. Standards of safety are usually prepared for each project. They are clearly written and illustrated and easy to apply and utilize. Stick by those standards to make sure you minimize harm and damages. The case study for this lecture was the Citicorp case. This case tells the story of a great design engineer who designed an amazing structure in New York, but he forgot to calculate for diagonal wind. Diagonal wind in this case was dangerous and may have caused the building to collapse, killing nearly 200,000 people. A student noticed this mistake and contacted the engineer. He listened to her point of view and immediately double-checked the design to find the solution. To learn more about this amazing story, check the link in the description below and watch it.
With the CityCorp case, we wrap up chapter three of the course. I hope you learned something new. If you have any suggestions on how to improve your online teaching experience, please feel free to share it in the comments below.